Hello guys, we try sentence at Capcom FF and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign mode. So after I did the the first shall be last mission story. I'm now in a mission where I have to save Reverend Swanson from a train. Like his when he was running from the scene right here when I was fighting this other guy. I think Swanson made a bad move. He ran away from the fight scene and unfortunately his foot got stuck on that train track and Arthur Morgan was the one that to actually get his foot out of there and they had a few seconds before the train will fatally hurt them so I don't know how I'd react to that, but it's somehow a scary incident, but surprise, surprise, spoiler alert, they were lucky to be alive, so, yep, one of these old western movies where you ride your horses everywhere you go, and it's a hallelujah, hallelujah, so, yeah, I'm having a hard time on foot trying to find the guy. And ooh, man, what am I doing now? Now I attack another guy. <laughs> That's what I kept doing throughout the game: attacking, attacking, attacking. So here it is. The train tracks. It's basically like a bridge, but you know what I mean. So if you have any suggestions on how to improve the game Red Dead Redemption 2, share a comment right below in the description it says share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community, make them feel welcome, and to keep it short and sweet, this will have a good ending once I get up to chapter 2 and then move on to chapter 3. So so my cap card of it. Hope you all have a great evening and peace out. You don't your foot! It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! <laughs> 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 Don't mind if I do. Ah, 
What are you mumbling about now? Pearson. John. There you are, Dutch. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please show some compassion, please. <laughs> this is not forgiveness of my. <clears throat> A little patience. Please, please, no. Ah, how did you get on? Not. Dutch.
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off. All of you. We're free. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. Hey, where are you going? That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like a marriage. We should hang up our hats now. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Is she anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over. Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> With pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. <clears throat> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house.
told you to stay hit. Arthur, let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. Get on, Arthur. We don't have time to mess around here. Master Arthur, come on. Come 
on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yep. Just play it cool. You might not know the situation here. I think we should be okay now. We're far enough away. We could have done this without killing anyone. It worked out. We got everything we needed. That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? We dealt with them, too. All right. Fine, it's done now. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and turn this in. Yeah. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work. Sure. Yes? Well, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The ranch. Girl.
Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Stop it, Arthur. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur. Kid, come on. This is crap. You better. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help.
rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? He's the one. Real piece of work. Yep. feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. So I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting,